Vanakam Coimbatore. I just want to ask a question to everyone present here. Who is a great leader? I ask, who is a great leader? Every mother who instills great quality into a son and daughter and presents them to the society as a responsible citizen is a great leader. Every father who sacrifices his needs and satisfies the needs of his family is a great leader. Every teacher who shapes the destiny of a student in the classroom with a chalk and a blackboard is a leader. So I salute them all. So I welcome the respected jury, the eminent members of ICT Academy, the dignitaries, and the future hope of my nation. Good morning to all. Before going into the actual content of my speech, I just, tell, I just want to share a secret with you all. There are three kinds of people, and these three people have the tremendous potential to become leaders. Now, please raise your hand if you fall under any of these three kinds. Girls, please raise your hand. Girls. So, congratulations, you fall under the first category. You have 99% of becoming great leaders. Now, the second category is um, boys. Boys, please raise your hand. Boys. So, congrats again. You have 99% of becoming great leaders. Now, the third category, very important. Last ventures. Please, last ventures, raise your hand. <laughs> Congrats, man. I, I myself, I am a last venture. You are one not one percent of becoming great leaders. You are one not one percent. The title of my talk is uh, Leadership, Being a Great Leader. After doing so many research, I came to a conclusion that the set of five essential qualities to become a great leader, they are to live a life of purpose, to practice self-leadership, to inspire others, to communicate, and to be courageous. The first quality, to live a life of purpose. When you're inspired by a great project, an extraordinary purpose, your mind transcends limitation, your consciousness expands in every direction, you, you will find yourself in a new, great, and wonderful world, said Padanjali. Purpose gives you the real motivation for living. It brings you the real existence for your living. If you can't find your purpose, okay, find your passion, because a passion will eventually lead you to a purpose. A true purpose transformed an uneducated youth into the people's leader, Perun Talaiwar Kamarajar. So that is the power of purpose. So this is the day. Ask yourself, ask those questions to yourself. What is my purpose? What is my ultimate aim in life? What do, what do I want to be known for? Start working on it. This is your day. Start working on it. Believe you are a leader. The second quality is to practice self-leadership. Knowing thyself. Tannai aridal. To know that, first, everyone present here, ask this question to yourself. Who am I? Nan yar. The answer to this question will help you to unravel your true identity and your, unleash your infinite potential to this world. Also, to be a great leader, you need to be aware of your thoughts and actions. And what I personally do to become aware of my thoughts and actions is to practice the habit of journaling and meditation. Journaling, diary writing. It's basically a conversation that you have deep within yourself. It helps you to reflect your passion, your desire, your ambition. You can know more about yourself. The second is meditation. There are different kinds of meditation, and I'm surely not mentioning that meditation we engineers do after post-lunch session. When lecture comes inside with our wide eyes wide open, and uh, our mind just going, traveling some unknown planets. Not that meditation. This meditation will make you calm. Take a deep breath. Meditate. At least meditate 10 minutes a day, it will help you. So know, your, know about yourself and become a great leader. The third quality is to inspire others. When your actions inspire others to dream more, to become more, to do more and to learn more, you are great leaders. Let me share a small story with you all, the story that inspired me. The story of a boy called Teddy. He lived just for 100 minutes, but made an impact that would last for 100 years. Uh, he died due to some medical complications, uh, but after he died, before, after he died, he just donated his organs and saved two lives. And I will say Teddy was a great leader because he inspired, he inspired thousands of people and me 
to register for organ donation. Yes, I am an organ donor. My dear people, in India alone, 5 lakh people die every year due to lack of organs. The ultimate gift that you can give someone after you have left this earth is the gift of life. Please, please be an organ donor. Register for organ donation. Your life is your message. Make it inspiring. The fourth quality is to communicate. The great speech delivered by our, our Prime Minister, uh, Pan late Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, on 15th August 1947, Twist for Destiny, brought hope to millions of hearts that we can build a mightier India, and we built it, and we are building it, surely. So to, to communicate, to communicate your vision to your people, you need to practice the five golden principles of communication. One, clarify your goal. Be clear about the content that you want to communicate. Two, deliver the message effectively. Three, get feedbacks. Get feedbacks from the people. Four, evaluate the effectiveness of your communication. Five, take corrective actions necessary. So these are the five principles. Now to the fifth quality, to be courageous. The true leader has a confidence to stand alone, the courage to take tough decisions, and the compassion to listen to others. He does not set out to become a leader, but becomes one by the quality of his action and intent of his integrity, said a great army journal. Every one of us present here has a deep fear within, the fear that we face to fear. Remember, the fears that you don't face becomes your limit. So how to overcome that fear? Simple. Believe in the beauty of your dreams. And the classic example that I would give for this is your mothers, our mothers. They are the classic example. Because our mothers believe in the beauty of their dreams. They never lose their courage. Their only dream, you know what is that dream? To make us a good human being. Let's give them a great round of applause. Our mothers. Learn from your mother. Our mothers are the greatest living example of leaders in this world. Also, I strongly believe that motherhood is the greatest act of courage. I repeat, motherhood is the greatest act of courage. And to all my dear sisters present here, I have a message for you. Women are a symbol of courage. You create this world, all power is within you. A nation can only truly progress if the women of our country set out to become a leader. Rise up. Just show this world what you have got within. So, my dear brothers and sisters, I just want to say, be bold, be courageous, prove this world what you have got within. Now, to the conclusion part of my talk. In a democratic country, it's not that the responsibility is just in the hands of a privileged few. Every one of us present here is a leader. We have great responsibilities to behold. Stop blaming the system. If you want to change the system, get into the system. Survive in it. Establish yourself. Get on the top of it and then change the system. This is how it works. So, my future leaders, let's join hand together to create a nation of zeros and ones. A nation with zero poverty. A nation with zero malnutrition. A nation with zero crime rate against women. A nation with zero pollution. With number one ranking in Olympic medal tally. With number one ranking in Nobel laureates produced each year. With number one ranking in Human Development Index. With number one ranking in Gross Development Product. With number one ranking in everything that we set in. So, I just want to share a favorite quote of mine before I conclude my speech with all of you. When you are born, the world rejoiced while you cried. Your life must be, your mission must be to live your life in such a way that when you die, you rejoice while the world cries. Be a good son, be a good daughter, be a good brother, be a good sister, be a good human, be a good leader, above all, be a good Indian and do something, something to your country. That's what I, I just want to stress to you all. My dear people, one thing, Let's make our nation proud and let's be proud of our nation. This is India and we can achieve anything. That's the power of Indians. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, elaborate on that 101% uh, for last benches. Sir? Can you elaborate on that 101% assurance you gave for sir, last benches? Last benches are people who, thinks, who, who see things differently, sir. And... Uh, <laughs> 
So why I gave them 101% is that they always think outside the box and uh, maybe at most of the times they may fail, but few times they succeed and that creates history, sir. So I gave them 101%. Kribakaran, uh, can you tell me what is the one primary objective of your talk? Sir, uh, to bring the leaders, uh, to, to, to emphasize them what is the qualities of leader. What are the qualities of great leaders? So that's the primary objective of yes, the Yes, sir. Thank you.